Hello, everyone. I'm Emily May, and we are honoring Women's History Month here at Mission Pro Wrestling. And all month long, we will be sharing a series of interviews and conversations with the women in the ring and behind the scenes of Mission Pro. And today, I am so excited to welcome Willow Nightingale. Hello. Hi. <laughs> welcome. I'm so excited that we get to celebrate Women's History Month with you. And I want to know... What does Women's History Month mean to you? Well, uh, Women's History Month to me means uh, taking what uh, power we have and celebrating that. You know, you always kind of hear like, um, like Women's History Month or like a Black History Month or things like that. You're like, oh, well, like, why do you get a History Month and like men don't get a History Month or whatever, right? But it's like, um, we have not always been given a voice and it's so amazing that we're kind of living in a time where we uh do have a voice and are uh, allowed to amplify it and scream out how awesome we are across the entire world and um be empowered by that so i think it's just like a great way to celebrate being a woman it is a great way to celebrate and, and so how, how do how are you going to celebrate this month of women's history month just gonna keep kicking dudes butts you know probably um and if i'm not kicking a dude's butt i am uh wrestling a woman in the ring and helping empower another woman wrestler so amazing and you do that all year long um, yeah i live that live it all you the time. live it all the time um but we're, we're specifically highlighting you know uh, the women that have been a part of Mission Pro have had matches. And so I want to hear about your journey at Mission Pro Wrestling. I mean, what what has Mission Pro's impact been on your life and the community around you and the women that you've seen and worked with? And, you know, what, is, what does that really mean to you? So the experiences that I've had at Mission Pro have been super positive because um, it's not something that was put together just as like a part of a trend to push uh whatever kind of like revolution that people uh feel there should be right like it's not just a trend like that's truly uh what mission pro is about it's like women first uh foremost at the forefront doing every single thing uh the bookers promoters uh referees we're the ones setting up and breaking down the rings. We're the ones behind the camera, like at every single stage of putting together a show, like it is truly um, heart and soul run by women. Um, so they walk the walk, they talk the talk, and it's like so special in that sense. So I I really loved it there. Oh, that that's so amazing to hear. Um, and, you know, everyone's journey has been different in the industry, you know, like you said, from from being a referee to, to being a wrestler, to being a producer, a host, a, a journalist, like all, everyone's journey is different. And so, you know, we do have a long way to go. And so I wanted to hear from you about where you feel the wrestling industry is right now in time and where do you see women in, in the industry going in the future? So I have like, everyone's not going to agree with me. But I feel like a big step that needs to be taken is kind of maybe even that separation of what is like women's wrestling. Um, because now more and more we're seeing non-binary folk be comfortable opening up with that identity, right? Because I don't think it's that there weren't non-binary wrestlers before. It was just like people didn't identify such a way comfortably in public. So now like where, where do they fit in? Are they women wrestlers? Are they men's wrestling? Like where do those divisions lie? Mm -hmm. And uh, then there's the issue of like, well, is intergender wrestling okay? I think wrestling is wrestling. Wrestling is wrestling is wrestling. There are two athletes that walk into a ring, they compete each other as well as possible. Um, and the better athlete wins, you know? So I think we kind of need to break that down. Um, continue putting women at the forefront, yes. Uh, putting non-binary people, um, people of color, LGBTQ plus people, like, really just to make it as inclusive as possible without kind of putting walls up. Um, we need to keep putting these people at the forefront and giving them the spotlight, but eventually I think it just needs to break down and have wrestling be wrestling be wrestling. That's personally how I feel, but. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you so much for, for being so open about that. Um, you know, we're, we've been kind of sharing a lot and discussing a lot about our influences and, and who we are today 
are, are formed by the people around us. And uh, who have been your influences um, either inside the wrestling industry or outside in, in potentially your, your personal, personal life um, that have shaped who you are as a woman today? I mean, my mother always first and foremost is like the biggest inspiration in my life. Uh, I've always called her my feminist role model. And when I first said that to her, she was like, I'm a stay at home mom. Like, how am I your feminist role model? And I was like, uh, yeah, but you chose to stay at home. And when you did that, you did everything. You've taken care of us amazingly. You raised us so well. You never waited for dad. Like if you needed the carpet ripped up, uh, you ripped up the carpet, you put the furniture together, whatever needed to be done, you did it because you're that boss lady. Um, my dad's great too, but just in terms of like my own like uh, empowerment, my mother was a great inspiration within wrestling. Um, I grew up watching uh, like Lita and Trish, Victoria and Mickey James. Those were always my favorites. And then once I kind of started getting older and I found out about like Joshi wrestling in independent wrestling. Um, Lou Fisto has been a huge inspiration to me. And to this day, I still watch her work and I'm just like, you're so good, how? Um, so in terms of like body diversity, she's a big influence. Um, Aja Kong, Bull Nakano, uh, you know, those those are a bunch of people. I You might have only been looking for like one or two, but like all those people really help shape who I am and keep me uh, trucking forward. No, I mean, that's, it's, it's so amazing to hear all of those influences. Um, and, and many of us have, have uh, a variety of them. So that's great to hear them. Um, you know, there's a lot of young women that, that look up to you and, and to the women in the industry, especially the ladies at Mission Pro look up to Thunder Rosa, you know, Absolutely. Um, what's some advice um, as these young girls look up to you and others, how to navigate life, how to navigate, you know, body image or, or, you know, maybe cyber bullying, any of these issues that kind of young girls have to deal with today? I think um, one of the biggest things in life in general, but something that I learned a lot from wrestling is like, you don't have to do something just because it's expected of you, right? Like you are in charge of whatever paths lay ahead of you. Like you make the choices in your own life own the agency that you have in your life. Don't say because you're a girl or because you're a woman, you have to do this, or I expect you to do this. So yeah, like it's super uh, great to be kind to people and like, you know, try to make this person happy or that person happy, but ultimately you're the only person living your life and you can't like succumb to whatever gender norms are like put upon you. Follow your passion, follow your heart is your life bottom line. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's, um, that is some great advice. <laughs> As we like reflect on, on Women's History Month and the journeys and, and uh, pathways that we've all taken, um, what has been a pivotal moment for you in your journey as a woman in the industry that helped define who you are? Who I think there are a lot of moments that I think can be really hard to narrow down. Um, but last night, I actually had a very special moment um, for me personally, um, because it was my, today is my seven year wrestle anniversary since I had my first Aww, match. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and around this time every year, my home promotion has our big show for the year, Psycho Circus. Um, and last night, I won a title that was never held before by a woman uh, when I kind of started wrestling there, like they're not big on intergender wrestling or anything like that. So uh, for me to kind of keep pushing forward, being like, I can do this and there are no boundaries that like I can't uh, break through or glass ceilings that I can't break through. Um, and for me to win that championship, uh, the fusion championship at OIWC, it just feels like, man, I'm so glad that I did this. I didn't see this happening seven years ago and it's just, it's really cool. So um just from the top of my mind like it it's it's special and feels like something that just warms my heart that's amazing congratulations and thank you I, that's so like we got to keep and that's what we have to keep doing we have to keep pushing breaking that glass ceiling pushing down those doors and uh, kicking them down whatever we need to do <laughs> you know <laughs> Whatever we need to do, because we are making a statement. We are making an impact every single day by the work that you do, by the work that uh, all, all the ladies out there are doing. Including uh, yourself. 
<laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, it's it's incredible to watch, um, and I'm so proud of everyone as as I watch them on their journey, um, as we're all going through it together. So as we uh, as we wrap up, I wanted to hear from you. What are three words if you could encapsulate who you are for Women's History Month? What would they be? Um. Oh God, this is like very hard actually. Ah, uh, wow. Do they have to like make a phrase or they can be like- No, random? they can be separate. They can be separate. Um, eccentric, um, uplifting, uh, and dynamic. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> um, well, that definitely um, is you right there. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I love it. Um, thank you so much for joining us for Mission Pro's uh, Women's History Month series. Uh, Willow, where can people find you? Um, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Willow Wrestles. Um, and if I ever have anything else to push or promote, it's usually on there. So check those out. Sounds good. Yeah, everyone go check out Follow Willow. And thank you all so much for watching our Women's History Month series here at Mission Pro Wrestling. You can follow Mission Pro Wrestling on all of our social platforms. Subscribe to us here on YouTube for more content. And remember, for all of our upcoming shows, you can visit missionprowrestling.net or you can stream those shows on Title Match Network. Thank you all so much. I'm Emily May, and we'll see you next time for more Women's History Month interviews. Thank you. Yeah, it was great. <laughs>